Hi, welcome to the Prosperity Alchemist channel. I'm David Wong, and in this video, we're going to share with you how to gain life force, how to be one with the force. That's right, we're going to show you the secrets of how to do that, and specifically, how to transmute your internal life force into external life force. So if you look at my prosperity pyramid, you see at the bottom we have life force, and then it's the life force is the fuel that helps you to run the engine, which is your mind and body and your spirit. So when you connect your mind and body and your spirit, you start to develop an engine that's able to move you with your vehicle, with your success skills, to their destination, which is prosperity. But it all starts with life force. So in this video, in this lesson, we're going to go deep dive into how to develop life force and how to turn it into an engine. And we do that by transforming internal life force into external life force. So that's how we convert fuel into motion, just like what an engine does. That's how we're gonna do it. In the same way, we're gonna transform your life force, which is the fuel, turn it into kinetic energy, which is the engine of your mind and body. So we're gonna learn how to create this flow of energy, the flow of energy of internal into external. Another very important thing that you'll learn is how to develop momentum. Because without momentum, then it will be very difficult for you to keep the motion and keep the kinetic energy in your life. Haven't you ever felt that you got things going and then things went against you and then you lost all your energy, you lost all your motivation, and you're back to square one? If you've experienced that, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So what do you need? You need momentum so that you have enough momentum, like you're going skiing downhill. It's very hard to stop because once you have momentum, like a snowball, it builds in momentum, right? It gets bigger and bigger, and then it gets faster and faster and harder to stop. That's the kind of momentum that you want in your life. So how do you develop that momentum? Well, we're going to talk about two forces. We have the positive forces and the negative forces. How can you build positive forces faster and bigger than your ne negative forces? Because if you have two forces going against each other, unless one is stronger than the other consistently, it's never going to move. Sometimes they move backwards if the negative is stronger. So let's identify what are some of those positive energies and some of those negative energies that can manipulate the fuel and how much life force you have and how much momentum you be able to generate in your life. So what are some things that cause positive internal energy? Let's talk about some of them. How about creativity, dreams, focus, curiosity, habits and rituals, fire, fuel, motivation, inspiration, passion, attraction, there's also integration of your whole self, emotional energy, positive emotions. Those are internal things that will give you positive energy. Okay? There's also negative internal energy. For example, procrastination, fear, failure, fear of success even. There's people who are uh, afraid of success. There are setbacks. Those are external, self-doubt. And that's internal depression, anxiety. Those are some emotions that you may feel that are the opposite of having positive internal energy. So what's more important, internal or external? Well, do you know a lot of people that look good and they look strong, but internally they may not be happy, maybe even depressed? Or do you know people who are even physically disabled, they're handicapped, maybe they're missing a leg, but they are very happy and they're very fulfilled. So what is the difference? Isn't it the difference is the life force that they have on the inside. So the key to transforming your internal energy into external energy is just to have enough of it. Because if you have enough strong emotions and internal energy, you can't help it but be able to express it externally. The same goes for negative or positive. If you have a lot of depression and anxiety, and you have a lot of self-doubt, lack of energy, and fear, then it's going to express itself in your life. It's going to funnel and have a domino effect up the ladder, and you'll never be able to achieve the success and the health and the prosperity that you want. You'll need to be able to focus on how you can gain that life force, how you can gain positive life by replacing and reprogramming your mind, your body, and your spirit. So how do you do that? How do you change that programming? One step you can do is through meditation because we're talking about internal. How do you change the way you think? How to change the way 
that you feel. Well, guess what? It goes the other way too. If you do what's external, it also affects what's internal. So it's like engine. Once again, you have internal on one side, you have external on the other side. So if you're having a hard time to get positive feelings and to get positive life force, then why don't you do things on the outside that will cultivate those things? And what are those? You can start to exercise. You can start to laugh. You can start to smile. Think about it. It's been scientifically proven that if you just do the physical act of smiling, even if you don't feel like it, you will create chemicals in your body that make you feel happy. Same thing with exercise. Same thing with laughing. Start doing things externally that make you feel good. Even if you don't feel like it, just pretend. Just act. Just pretend you're happy. Just pretend you're laughing. Just do the physical movement of standing up straight, lifting up your chin. Start saying to yourself positive things like, I am happy. I am healthy. I am successful. I am prosperous. And just by saying those things, you increase your vibration. You increase your frequency of your whole body and your mind. So now you create this engine and now you feel good. And when you feel good internally, now you start wanting to do things externally that make you feel even better. So that's the secret is to generate momentum in your life. The secret, the failure and the mistakes of that process is to allow fear and allow doubt and allow depression and anxiety and allow those internal things to be stronger and to focus on them too much and give it power because whatever you focus on, whatever you put your awareness to, that's what's going to give power. That's what you're going to feed you're feeding that beast inside of you. Stop feeding those negative emotions. Stop feeding those negative thoughts. Start taking action. That's the one main step that keeps people at level two. Level two, mind and body is healthy. But if you don't take action, you're never going to get to level three, which is success. I hope that helps you out. And like I said, come to my webinar. I'm going to show you some technology that you can use that will automatically help you to internally get you those positive emotions, get your mind to vibrate at the frequencies that causes you to just gain life force automatically. It's a lazy way, but it works. And today we have so much technology that goes against us that causes depression, causes anxiety. It's been proven that these electronics are causing a lot of this depression and anxiety in a lot of the young kids or even adults. And in order to counteract that, we need some kind of technology that will help us to counteract those negative effects. We're gonna show you exactly how those things work and how you can use them. There's even things that you can do without technology, like meditation, breathing, and like affirmations that I talked about. I think we need technological boost. There's all that stuff out there, but people are still having a hard time to get that momentum. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson about converting your internal life force into external life force and how to transform your internal energy into external energy and how to use your external actions to create internal energy. And also how to avoid being taken over and being affected by negative energy and negative momentum. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm gonna be sharing more in the next lesson. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and you click the notification bell so that you can get all the latest lessons coming out and you won't miss a single one. And make sure you share and like, and we'll see you in the next lesson.